I've decided to do some home improvement. For the entryway, I want something that will wow people when they enter. Something elegant. How about a chandelier? Introducing the ding lighting LED ceiling light. Wow, doesn't that look beautiful? There are two colors. I decided to go with the black one. It just seems more elegant. But if you want something shiny, they have the silver version too. So right off the box, you have instructions man, installation guide, which I'm gonna walk you guys through. Don't worry, you got some screws, mounting screws and uh, wall studs and electrical uh, caps. And this must be the bottom unit. This is made of plastic, okay? This would cover the light. And look at this. Wow, that's beautiful. So the diameter of this is 12.6 inches. When it's hung from the top, from the ceiling, flush of the ceiling to the bottom of the light is going to be 10.24 inches. I really like that design. And this is like a, it feels like, okay, so it's kind of like a plastic feel. So this is made of iron. And then you have ABS plastic components. And on the interior, you see these three uh, light sockets. It supports E26 type of bulbs, 60 watts max. And this is what's going to go into the um, ceiling unit. And it's real simple wiring. You have the ground. You have the white and the black uh, positive and negative, I think. And then, of course, the uh, typical mounting plate. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Whenever you're working with live electrical wiring, it's safe to always turn off the breaker. But since I have a specific breaker, which is downstairs light, I can simply turn it off. See, it went off in the garage. I have my ladder ready. So I've never removed or installed one of these dome lights. So hopefully it goes smoothly. So the first thing you're gonna do is unscrew this. And with the other hand support it and remove the glass and also this knob. With the cover removed, it's going to look like this. It looks like it's held on. I think this metallic plate or bracket is held on by two screws. So hopefully when I unscrew it, this whole thing can come down. Yeah, it seems pretty lax. Yeah, that should be easy. Next step, I think it makes sense to remove this bulb in case if this drops, then we don't have a broken bulb. As you loosen these screws, it's going to come out of this slot. Yeah, I think you just pull it down like that. Okay. This is going to work. This is going to work. I was worried that it would be like I'm painting or something, but it looks like that new cover plate is going to cover it. Next step should be pretty straightforward. Basically, remove the cap, and wind the wires, untangle them, and remove this whole assembly. And always take note of how the wiring is attached. I noticed there are two white wires which are bundled together and two black wires were bundled together. So uh, using a similar analogy, I'm going to just attach it around it. The bundles like that. Okay, you know, white with the two white, black with the two black, and then the ground wire. So before I mount this bracket on here to hang the light, I'm going to have to remove these two screws because it doesn't just fit over there. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to find a good uh, location where there's enough slots for the screws and I'm going to tighten it down. So here's what I did. With the ground wire running up, attached it to the ground screw or the bracket. And that, that ground is going to go to the ground of the house. These two black and these two white are going to the, of course, the black and white coming from the light. So here's a tip on how to probably use a wire cap. Just have the two connecting together and twist it until they naturally twist. And then you're gonna know it's tight enough. It's gonna naturally fold those two wires together. And if you want to use electrical tape, that's a bonus too because it was hard to wrap around it, the rigid wires, because it's trying to fit three wires into the wire caps. 
So before I finish the installation, I want to test to make sure I have the connections properly on. We have a light bulb in here. Wish me luck. Please work, please work. I'm putting a lot of time. Yes! We get to go. Now I'm gonna finish the installation. Alright, I try to fit everything into the housing. And hopefully it will just go on smoothly. And as a finishing step, put on the end caps. It's looking beautiful already. With my new lamp, I'm gonna be using the Linkind A19 LED bulb six pack. It's uh, dimmable, but I don't have a dimmable switch. So these are 9.5 watts, which is equivalent to 60 watts, which features the compatible E29 base, offering 2700K soft white color and illumination. Okay. They're lightweight. And this is what it looks like. I know it's a little gap on top. It's not exactly flush to the ceiling because of the two long length screws and the caps will not cover the whole length of it. Well, anyway, I'm gonna insert my new E26 bulbs. Finally, I can insert the plastic cover by tilting it, fitting it over it, and we're done. So in order to reduce the length of these two bolts, I need to move the bolts up, screw it up. If you're lucky enough to untighten it and get it up, if you're not, you're going to have to remove this bracket and then you can uh, somehow get the bolts up to a higher level. See, move this bolt up and tighten it with the nut. And a good way of checking the proper length is to screw on the end cap until it's as close to it as possible. Looks like you need to go higher a little bit because there is a gap. Okay, this is what it looks like now. Shortened. Now I'm going to fit that over there and hopefully it works fit perfectly. But don't worry, you can loosen and tighten it, lengthen and shorten it, I meant, without having to take off the screws. That's by simply uh, using your fingers to screw it. So before there was a gap, but thanks to my Uncle Bill, who is a handyman, he gave me the tips on how to shorten the screw. Now it looks even more beautiful. Now that it's flush with the ceiling. I hope he's home. <gasps> wow! Nice chandelier, dude. Thank you. I just installed it. You guys are not gonna believe it, but I actually have my light system connected to a motion sensor. Whenever it detects motion, it automatically comes on. Look at how bright it is. Perfect for the entryway. This is definitely an affordable, low-key elegant chandelier lighting. It's perfect for the entryway or even for the dining room or living room or even the bedroom. Using LED lighting, it really helps to cut back on the electricity bill and make your home more eco-friendly, but also putting a little bit of beautiful elegance to the styling. Installation was simple and straightforward. I really like this lamp. And of course, in the rare event you ever have to replace the LED bulbs is super easy. Just remove the cover, pop in the bulbs, and you're golden. So if you are ever looking to replace the light fixtures in your home with something more modern, definitely check out the Ding Lighting Modern Chandelier Ceiling Lights.